Hi there, Sasha here for The Balanced Canine and Rock Tape Canine. What I'm going to take you through today is how to adhere rock tape to coats that may be a little bit challenging. Now, sometimes we may uh, find challenges applying tape to dog coats for different reasons. It might be that the dog's in a really bad molt, so they might need a really good brush out. They could have a really yeasty coat. It kind of feels a little bit greasy and smells like corn chips. Um, their coat could be super slick. Um, or they could be um, a show dog that has um, a lot of grooming products in them, such as shine spray or even um, silicones that are actually in the shampoos and the conditioners. So if you come across a dog that's a little bit tricky to get the tape to adhere to, there is a trick. Now, what you're going to need are two things. So you're going to want to have paper towels and you're also going to want to have this adhesive spray. Now, it's really cost effective. I think it's around $13 um, from Alpha Sports Online and it's called Safe Hands um, Ball Grip. Now, what this is actually used for, for its true purpose, is for rugby players who will spray it on their hands and it gives them better grip of the ball. Um, I haven't had any reactions with dogs with it um, because it's... Um, designed to use on human skin, generally you find it's, it's okay with the dogs. But if you do have a dog with sensitive skin, it would be best to do a little test first. Okay, so there are a couple of different ways to use um, the spray. What we could do is we could do little spray dots along the taping path. But why that doesn't work sometimes is we get dogs that don't like spray bottles. So this is where the paper towels come in. So take off some paper towel. I'm just fold it a little bit and this is a human physio um, trick um, from the rock tape team in Australia so thank you very much then we're going to spray give it a good spray and then for instance if we were doing um, a lumbo sacral um, taping we're just going to do it along that taping path where we're going to be going very good it is a little bit stinky so some dogs aren't going to like the smell of it but they'll get over it Okay, now you can do another layer if you want, but I generally find that one um, layer is perfectly fine. Now you don't want to um, put the tape on straight away. If you're with a client, have about a one minute chat time and then you can go ahead and do it. Okay, so once it's kind of um, dried off a little bit, you'll feel like a tackiness um, to it. It won't feel um, gooey or anything like that. Um, and once the tape comes off, um, then you can bath the dog. In a lot of cases, um, once the tape's off, you really um, don't always feel that this adhesive's there anymore, unless you've got a show dog that you need to have the coat in really awesome condition. Okay, so just to recap on that, you're going to take your paper towel and your ball grip spray, which we just call an adhesive spray, spray onto your paper towel, then wipe over the area that you want to tape, and then go ahead and um, use the tape. So this is ideal even for dogs that are super active, like your working types, your border collies and your coolies and things like that. So if you're worried that the tape may get a really good working out because you know the dogs are incredibly active, using um, the grip spray um, would definitely be something um, that would be beneficial. All right. If you've got any questions, touch base um, at the Balanced Canine. 